Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, as you can see, my uh, my video quality is still crap. Um, I am still having problems um, with my camera, it's still broke. Uh, but I don't want to not bring videos to you guys. Um, how boring would that be, eh? <laughs> um, I also know I'm not the best in the world at this, but you know, I'm getting somewhere and People dig these videos, um, I'm still getting responses, um, mainly on Facebook, not so much in the YouTube comments, but I mean a lot of my friends are on Facebook and Instagram and they're not on YouTube, um, which doesn't, you know, I'm not excluding anyone, if you are on YouTube and you watch me often, then I really appreciate that, more so than people on Facebook, because um, you're going out your way to check my channel out and that's always cool. Um, we're going to start off with the Facebook things. Um, <clears throat> three questions, again, that I was asked. No one did the movie thing. The three movies, no one pretty much told me what their favourite movies are besides superhero movies and stuff. So clearly, you're here for one thing only, and we'll just carry on with that. Eh? Um, but yeah, down here, so the first one is my top five superheroes, okay? And uh, the guy I was talking to who sent me the question, they said, they said to me, it's not um, exclusive in any way, so this can be superheroes, uh, not just from Marvel and DC, so I assume people I'd put on this list I'm allowed to put on this list. They're technically superheroes. Um, but my top five, so, I mean, the first one, which, I mean, you're, you're all going to know, number one, my top one, my absolute favourite, always got to be this guy. Right, Batman, it's it's got to be. Um, my second on the list, and this changes with the third, they always interchange, um, but the second on the list is the Power Rangers. They are just the best superhero team out there, okay? They've got all the fighting skills, and they have the weapons and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they look great as a team, and they have Megazords, and they always come out on top. Um, love the Power Rangers. <laughs> um, and then Spider-Man, so okay, that can be interchanged. Spider-Man is just, he is the comic book character that I related to most as a kid. Um, yeah, don't know why I picked that figure up to show you, but I have been doing some PCAs with him in Carnage, so... Oh, no! Yeah, check that out, maybe. Um, I'll upload some photos on my Facebook story or something. Um, but yeah, Spider-Man is just... If I was a superhero, I assume I'd be a lot like Peter Parker. I'm often down on my luck, uh, like Spidey is. Why does he keep falling over? Uh, I'm uh, often down on my luck, like Spider-Man, so I guess he's the one I relate to the most, you know? I'm, I'm, yeah, I just I relate to him the most. And then we've got Hawk and Dove, so I discovered them by wanting to find out about other comic book characters that I wasn't really aware of and I, I picked up some Warlord comics and I picked up uh, the miniseries, the Hawk and Dove miniseries um, and it just blew me away and I love the whole dynamics of the team of Hawk and Dove I love their abilities, just um, the whole story with the Gods of Chaos giving them their powers just really love all of that stuff and then the last on my list is another team, and it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Because, I mean, they're heroes in a half shell. It, it literally says it in the feet. No, it's, they're, they're just great. Like, Mikey, Donnie, Leo and Raph just... I mean, Raphael's always been my favourite Ninja Turtle, but... Yeah, just, I love the Ninja Turtles. Um, and uh, The cartoon was just so good as well. Um, other ones I'd have put on that list, so straight out, I love Spawn. Um, don't know if you can class them as a hero. Obviously, the Dragon Ball Z characters, they are Earth's mightiest heroes in some universe. Um, so, yeah, um, they could have been put on there by all means. Uh, I love a lot of Naruto's. It's a great hero. Um, and then, yeah, I could, I could sit here all day, really, but we'll move on. The next question is from another guy who... I, I don't really know this guy well. And he found my channel because I did a wrestling video. And now he only asks me about wrestling. 
So he's asked me my current favourite WWE superstar. Um, and that's that's pretty hard. There are a few that I really, really like at the minute. Um, and I'm really, really behind. But I've got, just, I've got to go with my gut and say Drew McIntyre. Um, I started following him when he went to TNA. I, I, it's the only reason I got into TNA was that Matt Hardy and Drew McIntyre... Um, you know, where he, he cashed in or whatever it is, it's, it's not the same as Money in the Bank, but he, he, he was bound for glory or whatever it was. And then um, I, I literally, I thought he was a great champion for TNA, um, great on the mic, got a great personality. Uh, he went to WCPW, uh, where he had some amazing matches, okay, like some of the best wrestling matches I have ever seen today. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, just Drew McIntyre. Um, I don't know where it's going to go with this feud at the minute with Braun Strowman, but if Roman Reigns has to drop the belt somehow, um, which you can't see WWE doing, but if Roman Reigns drops the belt, um, imagine he drops it at Crown Jewel um, to Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman, they, they put him over big time. He actually just destroys Roman Reigns. And Brock Lesnar, okay, because he would deserve that. He's a fucking great talent, Braun Strowman. Um, and then McIntyre challenges him for the Universal title. Come on, give us that. Yeah, I know WWE don't have an end planned yet for this. Just give us that, okay? Listen to me and only me and give us that. That would be awesome. Um, I don't know how other people would feel, but that would be awesome. Right, uh, the last thing on the list... Um, Someone asked me, and I'm not sure how to take this question, but it's, would you give up your toys um, or your collection for Brock? Um, if you mean in the sense that if she was like, yeah, it's either me or your figures, uh, <laughs> which she wouldn't do, by the way. Let me just put this out there right now. If this is, would I give up my toys because Brock asked me to, she would never do that, okay? Um, I'm not making out that I'm the luckiest guy in the world, but... I am fortunate to have a partner who, uh, you know, supports what I do. Um, and, she, you know, she finds her own enjoyment in it too. Uh, she, she would never ask me just to get rid of them because she didn't like them. Okay, um, she is fully supportive of everything I do, whether it be the band, um, my job, which I'm passionate about, uh, or, or, you know, collecting toys. And she has to put up with a lot of air ache, you know, and... <laughs> when new figures come out and stuff and I'm not getting them, when they're, they're not being stopped in my area, okay? Um, but yeah, she's just really, really supportive. If you meant, like, if we're in a financial struggle, okay, because um, this has obviously been thought of it a few times, but if we were in financial need um, and we needed it as a family, I would definitely, in a heartbeat, I wouldn't even think about it, all this would just be gone, Um Obviously, that would upset me because this is something I, I'm really passionate about. It's something that's been here the majority of my life, okay? Um, but, yeah, uh, she wouldn't ask me to um, unless it was, like, anything seriousness, and then I would just do it. Uh, so, right, let's move on to the topics because it's already at eight minutes, so I'm going to have to be really quick. So, the Hasbro... I've acquired the license now to Power Rangers. What does this mean for a movie? Um, they could possibly continue from the legendary pictures, Power Rangers, although wouldn't it be cool if they just did it um, all over again? Uh, how awesome would that be if they just did a reboot and uh, made it more faithful to the original show and stuff? Maybe some of you would like to see that. Maybe some of you wouldn't, but uh, I would. I actually wrote... It isn't me being vain, but I wrote a screenplay for a Power Rangers movie when I was in college, okay? Um, certain stuff like uh, Bulk and Skull were not idiots in it. They were proper bullies, okay? Um, you know, I, I was touching on something personal with them. Um, and they have their own arc in, in my screenplay and stuff, and... If you would ever want to hear about that, I might do it in a separate video. Um, just let me know in the comments whether you'd find that interesting to hear my um, my own screenplay. Don't judge me too much. Um, so there you go. 
Uh, what Star Wars standalone movies do I want to see the most? I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. Just give us Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan on Tatooine. That's what I want to see. Um, obviously, bounty hunter movies would be cool. Um, it would be very interesting to see that. Maybe a film, I don't know if they could cast Liam Neeson again, but maybe a film about Count Dooku and Qui-Gon. Um, or the guys in the bar that I forgot their name, I feel like such an idiot. All you Star Wars fans are judging me right now, but the, the, the thugs from the bar in Star Wars A New Hope um, what if we got, like, some really funny, not stoner movie, for instance, but, like, a road trip movie set in the Star Wars universe with them two? That that would be pretty funny. I would go see that. I would, I would probably enjoy that. Let me know what you think. Um, and then the last one, okay. Uh, I, I, I talk about the same subject, subjects in a lot of these videos. I, I am aware of that. Um, they're just things that come up in my community, um, and they're the, the things I want to talk about the most. So, uh, do we have a right to be angry at actors leaving roles? Now, this is interesting. Um, <laughs> I was talking to a buddy, and uh, we were both talking about how, you know, this is going on with DC at the minute, where we're pretty much sure uh, Henry Cavill and, uh, and Ben Affleck aren't going to, do their roles in superhero movies anymore. Now, do we have the right, as fans, um, to be angry at that? So my friend was saying, we absolutely do have the right to be angry at that, because there's a certain level of trust, okay? Uh, the most important thing about making a Marvel movie or a DC movie or a Star Wars movie, the most vital thing you have to get down is you have to do it justice for the fans, okay? Um, we... we as fans, we put a lot of trust in uh, you big companies who make these movies. Um, me, myself, I put a lot of trust in Ben Affleck. Um, when he said he was going to do Batman, uh, he made me nothing but nervous the whole way through. Because it, it didn't even sound like he wanted to do it in the first place. And then this thing came out where he was like, oh, I'm looking for a cool way to escape the cow. You should just not done it. In the first place, if that's the case, um, I was trying to remain neutral, but that does actually anger me. It does annoy me um, that he, you know, he, what, he had to be coaxed into it or whatever. Um, he'd never really wanted to do it in the first place. If that was the case, okay, you shouldn't have done it then. Um, you know, you, you know what these movies mean uh, to the fans. You did Daredevil, which I don't hate, by the way. I love. The Daredevil film with Ben Affleck in. A lot of people don't like it. I like it. Done. We're uh, we're over that. Um, but yeah, it, you should have known, dude, and you dropped the ball big time uh, because yeah, Batman's such an important, integral character. Um, let me put it this way. If Ben Affleck didn't get involved at all, if they started world building, and don't tell me they couldn't do it because it wasn't real... Uh, realistic and blah 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 and they were trying to sit in the real world they could have started this DC Extended Universe okay with Christian Bale's Batman um, and I'm pretty sure Christian Bale would have done it as well um, you know he could have been picking up on spikes just in the background of the movies he could have been picking up on spikes of where you know Superman had started to obviously show his powers but he wasn't known to the world and stuff and um, it would have worked, and uh, I would have really enjoyed that. Um, and it's just a little bit sad, I guess. Um, now, we trust you guys to go into these movies, and here's what I mean, basically. I wouldn't accept the role for a movie if I wasn't confident I could do it, okay? So if someone came to me tomorrow and said, we want you to play... We want you to play Thor in a new Marvel reboot. I couldn't do it. I ain't got the build for Thor. I ain't got the attitude for Thor. I, I, I would not be able to put myself in a in a situation where I could probably play Thor. Um, that being said, if I was offered a Spider Man role, I could probably do that. Um, or if uh, the Doctor, if I was picked to play the Doctor um, from Doctor Who. 
I could probably do something with that. Um, but characters like if you wanted me to be Hal Jordan in the Green Lantern, I do not think I could do it. Um, you know, it, it, I, 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 I can't play a bad guy, okay, because I can't relate, so I'm not very good at playing a villain, so that would put a lot out. So what I'm saying is, like, Ben Affleck, if he wasn't confident that he could do a really good job as Batman, which I think he did, Ben, um, I think he did a good job. Uh, it, it's sad that you, you know, critics or whatever have uh, swayed you in the way they have. Um, but I think you did a good job. But if you thought that you wouldn't do a good job, you shouldn't have took the role. And um, Henry Carvel, you, right, is the other thing. If if you thought there was going to be a point where they wouldn't want to, you know, make Superman movies or it was going to branch away from that, um, you should maybe it's not the case, but. He should have known that going in, okay? DC should have forewarned him about that. Okay, we might only make one Superman film and then, you know, have him in other DC films but not know where we go from there. Um, he should have known all this in the first place. Not have to get to, are we doing Man of Steel 2? Nah. Oh, okay then, well, I'm off. It shouldn't have come to that. That is really frustrating from a fan's point of view. Like I said, we've... Um, with, with Josh Brolin... It's Thanos. No one knew that was going to work. We literally put all of our faith and trust in, Bro in Josh Brolin, and he delivered. Um, same with Ryan Reynolds, when he when he was Deadpool, you know. After the Origins movie, I was thinking, oh my fucking God, do not let him near a superhero costume again, right? But he promised us and promised us that he would do the character justice and we would enjoy it. And, you know, at the end of it, you'd come out and you'd be like, OK, fucked up big time with Green Lantern. But Deadpool was amazing. And he did it. Um, so that's that's how it pays off. It paid off with Ryan Reynolds. And I do not feel like it's paid off very well with Ben Affleck and Superman. So that's the video for this week, guys. Anything you want to drop in the comments or message me on Facebook. I will get back to you the next time I do a video. I might go for a hunt soon. Um, there you go. Um, but that's my video out for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm going now. So bye.